everyone. Uh, my topic today was, has the American gun control debate shifted? And the answer is yes and no, which is not a very good answer, but the main argument has not shifted pretty much since the Second Amendment was ratified and added to the Bill of Rights. But in recent years, the little details of the argument have shifted. So basically it comes down to there's two main arguments that people use for or against gun control. The argument against gun control is Look, there's no reason we need guns. That was an old rule uh, back in the day when we didn't have, you know, a standing military. It made sense to have an armed populace to help us defeat these tyrannical governments that were coming in. It's violent. America has awful violent crime, and giving people these guns just lets them go out and commit these atrocities that wouldn't happen if we could control guns, which is pretty much the main argument. But if you look at the last 20 years, America has definitely had a problem with mass shootings. You've got Virginia Tech, which killed 32 people. Oregon killed nine, that was recent. The Aurora Theater, it was right here in Colorado, that killed 12 people. We had 58 casualties also from that theater shooting. So a total of 70 people were actually injured by one shooter. Uh, Columbine, 13 dead, 24 injured. Sandy Hook, 27 dead. These are all absurd numbers for one crime to come in. One person, one gun, kills upwards of 20, 30 people. And all those sources were from the LA Times. So, obviously that creates a large debate when you have something that people think can be controlled. You look at it like, this person has an assault rifle, they came into a school and they killed 30 people. Why do they have an assault rifle? Like, why is that still a thing? And when it continues to happen, each new shooting reinvigorates the debate, brings people back to, these seem like preventable deaths, we should get rid of them. So that's kind of the lar largest argument against is, we have all these deaths, and it seems like something would be controllable. From there, the other argument is, look, we have sample sizes of other countries or states that have implemented gun control, and it seems to work. So in England, obviously nobody there is allowed to have guns at all, even though police aren't armed. They have a lot of knife crime, which is still bad, but you can't go into a school with a knife and kill 30 people, most likely, unless you're really good with a knife. But So America is the second most violent country in the world for gun violence, partly because our entire populace is allowed to have guns. But even compared to, and this is a Harvard study, even compared to other countries, we're one of the most violent nations in the world. We're top five for violent crime, period. So the argument is, if we're already an incredibly violent nation, why are you making it easier for people? Why are you giving people guns so that they can be more violent? So that's the main argument against. The main argument for is obviously the Constitution. Second Amendment says we, can, we have the right to bear arms. It was given to us so that we could overthrow the government if necessary, so that we as a populace could defend ourselves. Um, and, and the idea is that the Constitution is, our, our Bill of Rights defines exactly what we can do. That's a sacred document to us. If you want to change it, then you need to change the actual Constitution. You can't regulate within the amendments. So again, the argument is, the amendment says I can, I should be able to. You shouldn't restrict it. Um, another argument is, People say that even if you make it illegal, there's no way you can actually stop it. People are going to do it anyway. They, they talk about the drug war. You make drugs illegal and people still do it. So the argument is that if you keep the whole populace armed, they can defend themselves against other armed people. But if you make it illegal, then law-abiding citizens don't have the means to defend themselves and the people who refuse to obey the law have these weapons and they just go up against defenseless people. Um, so, that's, so that's the big two arguments is, Constitution says I can, it's killing people. So the way the debate has shifted recently and across the years is always about the little details. Right now it's about why do people have assault rifles? Like, Sure, they can have hunting guns, they can have rifles, but assault rifles, that doesn't seem that necessary. Uh, recently, uh, the Supreme Court had a case in 2008 about whether handguns should be allowed or not, whether you can have a concealed handgun. Same kind of argument, like sure, you can have guns, but really do you need a, a hidden handgun in public? So th the debate centers around uh, kind of how you can use your 
right to bear arms. It's never, most people don't say, you shouldn't have guns at all. It's always, mm, maybe not that gun, or maybe you can't hide it that way. So the, the short answer is the debate has not shifted in the sense that the two main arguments haven't changed across time. It's just two conflicting ideals, and that's probably not going to be resolved. The way the debate shifts and moves in the current world is by arguing about little things like what kind of guns you can own, what kind of ammo you can have, whether there should be magazine limits or background checks, those sorts of things. And each uh, focus of that little debate changes with each new shooting and each new election season where all kinds of new people come in. Thank you. Thank you. We don't do questions for these, right? No. Unless you really want to.